We now come to the second of these principles, which you have named the mastermind. Will you please define what you mean by the term mastermind, so that we will all have a clear understanding of it? Dr. Hill, the mastermind is an alliance of two or more minds working together in the spirit of perfect harmony for the attainment of a definite purpose. In a spirit of perfect harmony for the attainment of a definite purpose. Oh, so do you mean to say, Mr. Carnegie, that the mere choice of a major purpose in life is not of itself enough to ensure success? Yes, to achieve the object of one's major goal, if it be of proportions above mediocrity, one must so relate himself to the members of his mastermind alliance that he will procure the full benefit of their brains in a spirit of harmony. Failure to understand the importance of harmony and sympathy of purpose in the mind of every member of a mastermind alliance has cost many men their chances of success in business. A man may bring together a group of men whose cooperation he appears to have, and perhaps on the surface he will have it. But the thing that counts is not surface appearances. It is the mental attitude of each member of the group. Before any alliance of men can constitute a mastermind, Every man in the group must have his heart as well as his head in full sympathy with the object of the alliance, and he must be in perfect harmony with the leader and every other member of the alliance.